watching Let's Chat. Today I'm traveling to the no man's land known as Florabama. That's the miles on either side of the Alabama-Florida state line. I'm going to meet up with my buddy Johnny Griffiths, the distiller who was on uh, season two of the Discovery Channel show Master Distiller. And together we're going to try to put together a batch of Killer Bee's Stinging Honey Moonshine flavored hand sanitizer. So come along with us. It's going to be a hoot. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Only killer bees could come up with something like that. It, uh, <laughs> I got to ask you, before we get it back into my line of questioning bees, tell me, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> What's that word? One of two ways. Either not too good <laughs> or, or I'm not at liberty to answer your inquiry, sir. There you go. Under, understood fully. Um, before we were going into the break, you were talking about the extensive travel that you've got to do as a comedian. And now that you're off of the cruise ship, or now that you and Terry agreed you were going to pull back from the cruise ship and focus more on the land-based entertainment, and now you can't go out to a comedy club, or you couldn't until extremely recently. What is this... What do you think this holds for you in the future? All kidding aside, I mean, or do you even have an idea yet? Well, I do not even have an idea yet. It is, you know, Chip, this is my life's work. Sure. This is what clicked for me as an individual. I've done lots of gigs, man. I've worked in a 911 ambulance. I've worked in a funeral home. I've made soybean oil. I have done a lot of different jobs in my life. And way back in 1982, this is what clicked for me. For me. I've been funny since I was a little baby. And this clicked for me. And so for almost 40 years, man, this has been my passion. It's been my career. It's been what I bring to the table. And so at this point right now, we don't know if that particular art form has changed forever. That it, it is so, um, it, it, there's so many questions that have not been answered that nobody has an answer to, that I have no idea what the future is gonna hold. You would think that this time in a year if we have a vaccine and we're able to send it on its way like we did polio back when I was a little boy, we had to all go take the little sugar cube, put the drops in them. People my age will remember that. But that's the scary part, man, is that I don't know if I will ever get to return to, not the stage so much, but if I will ever get to return to making a good living for my family doing this. I, I sincerely hope it doesn't become a hobby. Right. You know, so, right. but that's what we don't know, Chip. And just let me say this that's where, and a lot of people feel this way about their job. I'm sure that's where faith comes in. Okay. We've all got to have faith and we've got to conduct ourselves during this pandemic with faith. We've got to conduct, conduct ourselves that way. We cannot allow ourselves to give in to fear and to the what if. That's yep. my message right now, other than just funny, funny right now. My message is don't get caught up in the what if. Have Very good faith. advice. Very yeah. sound advice, and we should all have faith all year long. Stick around. We've got more with Killer Bees coming up right after this on Let's Chat. <laughs> 